Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Bye. One thing we did learn from the storms is you can't have too much drinking water. We're kind of thinking ahead and we want to add some more totes to our uh, to our rain catch, our rain catch system that we use. We got the 1100 gallons here and we got 1100 gallons up there right now. We're going to get a few more. We got this one. We're going to add two back there in the back of the barn. And the goal is to have, you know, maybe six, eight more totes up around the barn just for our emergency water and then we still have the thousand gallons down here for now. Let's we'll show them how I hook it up and how how we do it and how we use it. I'm helping Papa. Good job, Bo. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna plumb this new tote into these other four. These four befores we got a we built this frame out of are like this. They're bowed like those like that before ever made this frame out of them. And uh, this last one out here, you can kind of tell it pretty good. But I don't care as long as it holds that much water. That's more water than we had, so it don't matter. I mean, I know it's gonna hold up to here at least at least 250 gallons. These will hold. Like I said, they was warped before I put them in here. I want to unhook it from the elbow this way, and that way I can show you guys how I plumb them together and how we use them. So they feel basically from. They fill from the top and level out with the bottom. So basically, this is the way it works. I'm basically going to try to reuse this whole piece. Just over there, I'm going to shorten it down over there. So if I can get it off right here, that'll be a plus. These clips are kind of hard to break. That's how I get them on. Just put that on, clamp it, and then turn it, and it'll break. It just takes it a minute. This stuff is kind of hard to get off when you get it on there. And once you clamp it, try to take it back apart. Take it and turn them sideways like this. If I can get it on here, and kind of shave it down the side, like that. like that kind of aggravating to get off the fur okay but once you get it cut in two all the way it'll come right off just like that What I use on these things now is you can buy the the fittings that go on here to screw right onto the threads like that. But over time they leak. I really ain't never had no good luck out of those kind of fittings. So what I did is I swapped these two inch rubber boots. All right. You stick that on there just like that. And see it's already got a good shell on it anyway. And just tighten that up and it's not gonna leak. Just like that. And once you get that, you get this two inch, it's a two inch kind of, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like a, kind of like a plug with a one inch hole in it. It's a, it's a two inch by one inch. Okay, and the one inch means that you have a, a one inch PEX adapter. It screws in here, just like that. Put some Teflon tape on it, screw it in there, just like that. Tighten it up and you stick it right in there and then you just, Go tee it right in there. And I bought a, I have a tee here. You can tighten the crap out of this. What I do is I get a, a ratchet. I think it's a, 
eight millimeter socket and I put it on her and I just tighten the crap out of it. And that way I know it ain't gonna leak. You can put a, you can put a user screwdriver on top but you ain't gonna get it nowhere near as tight. This will fit basically right in this hole here. And it'll go right in there just like that. After I get this in it, of course. Put the te Teflon tape on it and screw that in. And that reduces it down from the from the tote to one inch pecs. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of tape thread silver tape put on it these tape these threads in here are kind of tapered where it tightens up as you go in put it back in there okay now tighten this clamp back up Slip it right on. That should give me just enough room to put this one on. Yeah, it should be pretty close. Just like that. <laughs> okay. These one inch clamps are kind of a pain too, but my pliers are greased and I found them in there in the dirt. that one's on now from there to there got a mark right there <laughs> that on there and that one oh wait we got the clamp now done clamp on that one okay just like that that Really needs to be over here, but I'll deal with that later. So, well, no, I'll have to deal with it now. Turn it off. Uh, you can hear it filling. It'll use the pressure off of these and to go down and fill that one. It'll level them all. It's where they have pretty much supposedly the same amount of them. Let's see if we can release the air in it. See? I'll try to hook the bottom up anyway, and we're right back where we was at, see? Go right back to that. So, I'll just put that back over like it was. That way we can hook the water hose back onto it. Whenever I try to find these tanks, uh, I try to find them with the lids, you don't have to screw in little piece here. I try to find them with these kind of lids. But what I do is I get a two inch. It's a PVC fitting, two inch by two inch. I guess you'd call that a male. And it, it threads right into this cap. It's like that. Well, I said, okay, see right there, it threads right into the cap. I just tighten it up like that. See, perfect fit. Screw it right back on here. And the way I do it, it's kind of a bad way to do it because I, I glue it all together. And in order to get it apart, you have to cut it, you know, but for the foreseeable future, I'm not gonna take it apart. It'll be sitting right here. So either way, if I gotta cut that one cause I got that end on it and I'll bring that end over here. Right now, as long as it holds water, I don't care if it crooked as a dog leg. I don't care. And what I'm 
gonna lose them. We'll put this on the other end over here. Like that. Just keep extending them on is all I'm doing. I need to put a screen on it. Like I done the other one. Because you have to leave it open for a vent. It has to have a vent on the top. Or these right here will swell up like a balloon. Like well, like you just saw that and released the air out of it. What we do is we'll pump these down to the house and those and then it'll go through the filters and stuff. But uh we in the works we have another we have a bigger and better filter coming up before it gets there, so we'll be showing that pretty soon. How we're gonna filter the water before it gets into the house, before it gets into the filters in the house. So pull time, boy. Ready, go. It's like a torque bar. It is like a torque bar, yeah. We need something else. What we need? We need a stronger one. We need a bigger torque bar, yeah. Snake. Snake, snake, snake. <coughs> I got him. You got him, yeah. That's a good job. I got it. I see that. something to hold it so now we're back to right where we was originally at with the water coming out of there like that yeah that's this one hooked up that makes what 11 1375 gallons up here as you can see, this one definitely ain't level, but I really don't care because it's already got the, you know, leveled out to there. It'll still, it'll still get pretty full, even though it's a little off. 275 more gallons of water. Can't go wrong with that. If you ain't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll put some more water tanks in. Sooner or later, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Like, subscribe. Watch your own videos. Bye.